Welcome back, everyone, to some more Tomb Raider. This is Dewey. Joined with me, joining me is Zach. Hey, everybody! I'm glad you were able to spit that out. I was going to call you Tom and Raymond, like just anything but me, who yeah, I actually much. am. So this is still, um, you know, I actually don't know if this has been shown, but I know I played this part at the PAX 2012 demo, okay. like that they had there. So this is semi-familiar to me. She's all alone. She's alone, Dewey. You're not there to comfort her. It's okay, Kaylor. We'll be there for you. I'll control you, woman. <laughs> Looks abandoned. Looks abandoned, right? She does not look in good shape at all. She's done a lot of falling. Is anyone listening? Please respond. At least she knows how to build a fire. That bird's very comfortable around her. Yeah, actually, pretty marked. Like it just like goes right through. With oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she should eat it. She may later. She needs food to survive. One match. Well, the shaking kind of threw me off a little bit. Um. I don't know if it's just the... Uh, it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> I mean, she's cold. Here's the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously. I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you. Roth trusts you. You got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay. Okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? But it's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. You've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamata is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. That's a ship. Don't need a PhD to know Look, that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Lara, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the Triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously you know, concerned. is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. 
I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? That guy's extremely bold. I like him. I like him too. She's got a plan. We're doing it. <laughs> he likes her. Maybe he likes her a little bit more than you. That's why he supports her plan. <laughs> A little flashback there, trying to get a little bit more history as to what's going on. It's a new day. I've got to find something to eat. See, she's hungry. Well, we had a bird that we could have just grabbed when it. It was like it. on the fire. <laughs> it wanted to die. <laughs> it wanted to get. It was, it's going to turn itself into KFC for us. And, uh... Chase after it. Uh, I I think. We got some birds here. Uh, no, they're good. they're flying away. We don't want birds. We want we want some real meat. Oh God! Some human meat. That's What's perfect. Wait, I can use that bow. And uh, roast the body while we're at it. Time to time to get that uh time to get that bow. Switching in and out of your survival. Oh, mode I see. There. We're gonna climb on something. Now, if so, if you. Stay still while you're in that like survival view thing. Yeah. You will continue. It'll continue to show you everything. But the second you move, then it'll disappear. Okay. So if you if you want a longer time to stare at it, then uh, you can just stand still. I can do this. Just jump on him. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, perfect. She's used to. She falling loves falling. At this part. <laughs> oh God. She's scared it might attack her. I reversed my position that she could eat that. Yeah, there's not much left Let's on that. This thing still works. And it is human, so it's Just rotting. Remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. Nice error. This is it. We're gonna kill a deer for the first time. So hungry. I need to find something. This is like it. when. <laughs> When you're just like you're sitting there, it's like, man, I'm hungry, but you know there's no food in the refrigerator. So what am I gonna do? Just go in your backyard and hunt. Yep. So this is kind of showing off the different uh, dynamic levels that Crystal Dynamics has put into the game, in which you can choose where you want to be hunting. You can go on the ground floor and stalk them. Or okay, you can, you can go, go above. from above. I like I like to be above. Or you could starve to death. There's always that option. So the bow has a wind-up. The longer you hold it, uh, the more damage it'll deal. It does reach a maximum point, and eventually you'll start shaking, and you can't shoot it. You just wasted an arrow. I did. Wait, did you hit so, the deer, or did I you did miss hear, him? I did hit it first, yes. It's a strong deer. And now he's dead. Yep. We get to go see our see our prey. Or not Is our, it yeah, still prey. alive, or are we going to have to finish it off? Sorry. It's like the gallon minus. Don't do it. I'll crawl inside. <laughs> That's a Star Wars reference. And I knew that. So when I played the right, back to camp. when I played the demo at PAX, I was a little iffy about it until I got to that right. part. That part really struck out. You to won't me. always have some cool. fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Or have some super psychic ability to be able to go black and white and see your objectives. Did you uh, actually take meat from that deer? Um, or... so, so there's there's um, there's two different types of like things that you can pick up. You can pick up ammunition and you can pick up salvage. Um, salvage is like food or anything like that, and it's I mean it's it's literally just called salvage. It's points towards your upgrade system. It's either ammunition or it's not. Yeah. Um, pretty much. So uh, that's what you get when you pick up the 
from okay. the deer. So there's no hunger level. Correct. <laughs> That's constantly draining and is going to have you die. Okay, so this is upgrades? Yep, this is our upgrades. You have, on, on this screen, you're going to see three different upgrades. You have your skills, um, your fast travel, and then your weapon upgrades. Uh, they, they automatically bring you into this survivor tier, which is your skill tier. Um, later on, you're going to have three different skill, like you have three different skill trees that you can uh, level up. Survivor, Hunter, and um, Combat. And the first one forces you to go with Survivor. Um, so you have you have a couple different options you can pick for through here. Um, I can't... I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to go with. I know that salvage. Okay, so I went with the so with air with arrow retrievers. So that way, when you shoot, you use your arrows, you can get them back. Okay. Um, you don't have to worry about what. But you don't have to worry about conserving your ammo as much. Yeah, I strongly suggest that there's there's three salvage tiers or there's three salvage upgrades in there, um, to get more salvage from like when you pick up uh, bodies or you find crates and stuff. I strongly suggest you level those up as quickly as possible. Um. Because the salvage will go towards upgrading your weapons, so the more salvage you get, the more you can upgrade your weapons. And I did that. I I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for that, and it's going. I think it's gonna work out really well for me. So when you choose one of those, you automatically like there's no second level for each of these. Like steady shot, it's just you correct pick um, that, and then you're done with that one. And then like here, you can see there's only there's only two I can uh, choose, choose from, from from the hunter. Um, once you get those two, then you can start upgrading more. Like there's prere okay. prerequisites. But each something. one is just one. It's not one, and then there's different levels for. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So, just kind of going over all of them here. See what they're all. What Seeing they what are. you're gonna have later in the game when you mm -hmm. actually become a survivalist, someone who can thrive in the wild, <laughs> not be upset when she has to kill a deer. <laughs> Um, well, it's you know it's it's always important. This is something that I emphasize a lot in games is to look through all the skill lists so that way you can figure out what you want to um, really go down as you advance up. So you have a plan for your future and not just kind of going in blind. So there's here's the three different things I was talking about. This is Conrad Roth. Captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth, Lara. you're alive. Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach, and then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Feels like somewhere it must be.